Hey guys, today I'm going to do a top 10 favorite nail polishes video. And last week I did a top 6 lipsticks, so this I thought time to go and do something a little bit different. Well, not really. So I have 10 of my favorite nail polishes out of my collection of 32 sitting right next to me. And I've also painted them all on my fingers so you can get an idea of what they look like actually on nails. So number one is um, OPI Red. Oh, by OPI, obviously. So it looks like that. And, oh, kind of smudge. But I usually use this as more of a toe color. There it is on my pinky. I promise I won't be as often I get to my middle finger. That's what it looks like on my pinky. And I usually use that more as a toe color, but I really, 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 really love this color. And it took me a long time to find it. Um, I had I went and got a pedicure one day, and they put it on my toes, and I was like, what color is that? And so um, they wrote it down for me, obviously, so I could go buy it, and it took me forever to find. But I am in love with this color. It's so great. So that's OPI Red. Um, next color I have on is um, a light purpley color. That one right there. I don't know if it's focusing, but... And it is by Sally Hansen. It's one of the Extreme Wears, and it is in Lacy Lilac. And so I just really like this one. It's kind of a light, pretty more elegant color and so definitely one of my favorites if you're looking for just a pastel color. Um, my next one is also is another OPI and it is the one that got away and it is from the um, Katy Perry collection back when Katy Perry did a collaboration. So it's that one on my middle finger but I promise I don't flip you guys off. And so it's this really sparkly, it's kind of this wine color. Probably could have done a couple more coats on here and it gets really darker. But it's gorgeous and sparkly, and I like sparkles. I like matte polishes, but I also like sparkly polishes. I just like all sorts of nail polish, so this is definitely a good one if you like a darker sparkly color. My next one is another Sally Hansen one, and another sparkly one. And that is this one right here, it's a silvery color. And it is in Celeb City. And this one I've had for a while now, and I got it as a birthday present. And I really, 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 no, I bought it for someone as a birthday present. And I painted it on their nails and I fell in love with it, so I went on and bought my own. And it's just a fun, sparkly color. I usually pair it, like, I do it as my accent color when I do, like, black nails or something. Or sometimes if I use the Katy Perry one, I'll put this as my accent color on my um, ring finger. So I really, really like this one. Um, this next one is by Sinful Colors. And it's one I think I've done in a favorites video before, I'm not sure. And, um... It is this really pretty green color, and it is called Innocent, and it's right here on my thumb. And I just really like this because it's bright, but, like, not too, like, in-your-face neon green, like some of the other greens I have. And so, but it's not, like, dark, deep. Like, you can wear it with a pastel -y color. So I really like that. <laughs> my next color is a long-time favorite. Probably been wearing this nail polish since like sixth grade. I am obsessed with it, and they still sell it, which is great for me. And it is this New York Color Long Wearing Nail Enamel in Skin Tight Denim Cream. And it is this deep, deep blue color. It's on my thumb. Ah, I don't know why I'm trying to focus, and I keep like closing my eye, like I need to focus. I don't know. So there's that. And um, it's just a deep color. It has a little bit of shine to it, but it's not like chunks of sparkle that are like in your face. And so, I really like this one because it's an easy dark color to wear if you don't want to if you want to be dark but you don't want to go black. Because sometimes you don't feel like having black nails, which I feel that way a lot. I have a black nail polish that rarely gets used because I prefer this. Um, my next one is also blue, and it's by Sinful Colors, and it is Aquamarine. It's this really bright blue color right here, and I like this one just because it's bright and fun. And sometimes I'll use that. I'll use these two together with the lighter one is the accent color on my ring, on my ring finger. And, yeah, it's just, I mean, self-explanatory. It's a really bright blue. And I, it's a summery color, definitely. So, I really like that one. Um, my next two colors are both from Flormar, but they're both really, like, neutrally colors. So this first one is, what number is this? 79, and it's this brown color. And it's this middle one. And what I like about this one is it's good for those days where, like, your nails are kind of not too attractive looking, and but you don't want to have like a bright color on your nails. So it's just a really easy throw it over. It blends in 
pretty well with my skin tone. I mean, I know there's some people who are paler and darker than me, so obviously it's not going to blend in with everyone's skin tone very well. But for mine, it doesn't look too much darker than what a natural, what it naturally would look like, and so I really like that. And so that's by Flormar, the Plus Quartz Nail Enamel. I really like those. And this is just another Flormar Nail Enamel. It's not the Plus Quartz, but it's in 397. And it's this very light pink color. You can't even see it on my nail, which is another good if you just need to paint over something, but it, you want something really natural. And so this pink, it's a little, it's a little bit, you can see a little bit of the pink, but it's more just a soft, kind of more of a clear coat with a little tint to it. And since I really like light colors, I use this one quite a bit, um, often as an accent color with the 79 or whatever the brown one is called. And the last one's another longtime favorite. I used to buy in junior high and stuff. And I hadn't bought it in a long, long time because I've been looking for a color similar but in a nicer brand of nail polish. And I couldn't find one. And so I was at the drugstore with my friend the other day and I was like, you know what, I'm going to buy it. So it is um, Blazed by Wet n Wild. Wild Shine is their nail polish. And so that's it. Blazed right there. And it's on my pinky. It's this corally pinky orange color that I really like. And I have one similar to it, but it's more orange and I really wanted the more corally. And so I like this one for summer. I don't know why I bought it just a few weeks ago, like at the very end of summer, when summer's going to be over and I'll be wanting to wear, you know, um, the one that got away and skin tight denim and all that. But it's a really pretty color. And yeah, so I like that. So those are my 10 favorite nail polishes. And I will link them all below. Not link them. I will put the, all their names down below. And you can pick most of these up at... Uh, drugstores, Target. Uh, the only ones that you won't be able to find at like a drugstore are the Flormar ones. Those ones you have to order online or go to a Flormar store. And I don't ever get to order any more of these because I bought these when I was in Europe. And the websites I go to don't deliver to the US. So I don't ever get to get any more of these unless I go back to Europe. But if you live in Europe or you live in somewhere where they ship, like I think they have some in Australia. I think that's about it, Australia and Europe, and so if you live there, I check these out, I highly recommend them. I'm really glad I bought them, and I bought one other, I bought one of their magnet ones, because magnet was big in Europe, magnet that was big in Europe before it was big in the States, apparently, so I was ahead of the trend. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy and go out and buy some of these beautiful nail polishes. Bye!